Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Good morning, Grace Church, and happy Easter. Father Asa and I greet you on this Easter morning with great love. It's not actually Easter morning as we are talking to you today because for safety reasons we wanted to make sure that all of our communication to you could be done well and advanced. But what a joy it is for us to greet you on this day. In a few moments we will be worshiping with the whole diocese. Bishop Carly Hughes is our preacher and presider this morning, so we have a lot of company as we celebrate Easter morning together. I am aware that this is a stressful and anxious Easter morning for so many of us. All around the globe, people are hurting and people are frightened. And we know this and we can't pretend that this is not so. But how helpful it is for us to remember that the very first Easter was a morning that had its own anxiety and fear and a lot of things that the followers of the Lord Jesus did not know what was going to happen next. So we have good company with our ancestors this morning. And for our ancestors who first confronted the open tomb, they learned that their hope was in the risen Lord. And that is our hope this very morning as well. If I were with you this morning in the flesh, I would give you an Easter blessing, which I assure you Bishop Hughes will give all of us when she preaches and presides later today. The God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in him. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs> 